Today we will be discussing about airplanes, source of power, wings, and how airplanes turn. A plane needs wings for the fact that without them, the plane will not be able to balance, and without balance, the plane most likely will just crash. A person I know of thought that a plane could survive without wings, not like the single wing fighter jet, but the airplane being alone shaped like a wing. Planes also need to turn. A plane body just being a wing would not be able to turn and would not be able to balance, therefore resulting in a crash. There are some planes without wings, but they have very good double tails that can act as rudders, stabilize, and even substitute as wings. And these planes are easier to store in hangars due to the width not being as long as usual. A wing works like this. The top part has a slight arch while the bottom is flat. When the air goes over the wing, the bottom acquires more pressure than the top, therefore creating lift. So you could think of it as this. The air meets more resistance on top than the bottom. and Since it does that, it gets kind of picked up. The propeller basically acts like a large fan for three reasons. The first purpose is a propeller being so strong as to be able to pull the plane forward. The second one is to put enough air on the wings so as to make it take off. The third reason is if you're in an open cabin airplane so you can have a nice breeze on your face. Turbines do the same thing but it excludes purpose number three. And it has different blades rotating in different directions, making the air go one way. Each one of them go as fast as the propeller, and with them being more than one, it makes it a lot more powerful. Planes also have wings that turn and slow the plane. A plane basically has three parts on its wings that can move. The flap that reduces lift and flaps that can add drag. When the flaps that add drag go all the way inside the wing, that means that it's the best efficiency for the plane, so it will be used for climbing, its cruising, and the descent of the plane. There are two flaps that can add drag, the little one and the big one. When the little one stays in place and the big one goes out of the wing, that means that it's the increased wing area of the plane, so it would be best for takeoff and the initial climb of the plane. The flaps that add drag don't have to add drag if they are parallel to the wing. That is the case of the increased area of the wing 1. When both of the flaps that create drag go out to the maximum per position, it creates maximum lift and high drag which means that the plane is most likely approaching to landing. This mode also allows the plane to use minimal energy while going at low speeds and not stalling. When the flap that reduce lift goes all the way up and the flaps that reduce drag go all the way to their downward position, this means that the plane is most likely just braking on the runway because there is no other reason why you should use this mode. This does the reducing lift which pressurizes the plane to the ground and it maximizes the drag so as to slow the plane down. In this podcast you learned about airplanes, their source of powers, wings, and how they can get higher and lower.